If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, crypto family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead, do all the things that the algorithm requires for me to be a successful YouTuber, meaning liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. All right, you got to do it. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. And before we get into the V Chain news, second round of layoffs at crypto.com has occurred, guys. So, um, another reminder. Get your crypto off exchanges another reminder tech is always the first thing to experience these layoffs during times of recession so just make sure that uh you know you set yourself up for success in the future just in case more layoffs come or a recession comes all right getting those skills like we talked about yesterday uh, becoming a Solidity developer, Plutus developer, Cardano developer, a VeChain developer, a Web3 developer. You know, those things are going to be in demand uh, as the recession uh, chugs on. So second round of layoffs uh, was worse than the June cuts. Um, pretty much the TLDR in June, Crypto.com laid off 20 260 uh, employees or 5% of the staff and they lied to the people saying that there wouldn't be any more layoffs but of course there were more layoffs <laughs> uh, this is starting to happen at Gemini we talked about the layoffs um, I think it was Huobi did some layoffs as well Coinbase did layoffs and now crypto.com are doing more layoffs. Uh, they, they feel that the bear market is going to be long and they need to save money. We know that trading volume is down um, just due to the overall uh, macroeconomics of, the, of everything. So um, they're, not getting, they're not getting their revenue and fees as much as they used to during the bull run. So um the company is hiding the fact that they've laid off more than a thousand employees <laughs> wow even though they've officially announced laying off uh 260 so um more is coming they're going to be trimming the fat uh typically during bull runs people like to grow and uh you know they they kind of get sucked up into the hype they hire a lot of people they you know do all these promotions all this marketing and now that the prices and the trading volume is down, you know, they got to cut the fat. So hopefully this will be a cautionary tale to Coinbase, Crypto.com, Gemini, any exchanges that survive the bear market. The next time the bull market comes, you don't grow as fast. You keep more money in cash than you need so that you can withstand uh, markets like this or buy opportunities kind of like what FTX is doing right now FTX is going around and buying up all the bankrupt exchanges for fractions of, a, of, a, of the price I remember when BlockFi was worth billions of dollars and then the SEC came and said you can't do this and now they're being sold for 25 million that's the way capitalism works baby let's keep chopping wood and let's move on <clears throat> into the VCHA news guys the uh, approval of 32.0 testnet has been successfully updated to include VIP 220 aka finality with one bit all testnet nodes are requiring the updating all right so um, if you're a dev and you're running on the testnet please update the testnet and we're one step closer to Proof of Authority 2.0, guys. Don't forget, that is in the cards for this year. So you don't want to miss that. I'll keep you guys abreast on that information. We've got Eisenreich here. Shout out to Eisenreich. Please consider following and donating in the description down below. Looks like Magma here. Pretty cool. 
Magma is an intuitive platform as a service which allows you to experience four-dimensional digital twin of your building containing all the architectural and contractual documentation validated by its stakeholders. So this is cool. This is an ongoing digital transformation of the real estate industry. Every building needs asset management tool to secure and monetize its data. Magma is an intuitive and user-friendly platform as a service, which allows you to experience a unique 4D digital twin 3D space plus time model of your building containing all arch architectural and contractual documentation validated by its stakeholders. Magma creates a new digital asset for its owners, incentivizing all stakeholders to uplate, upload the data in the platform by minting the Magma NFT. Strategically connecting the building model with smart contracts on the blockchain, it becomes indispensable uh, building to showcase documentation vault and task management tool. It's actually pretty cool, especially for real estate. Um, I'm going to be moving in a short time, and you know, sometimes you're not able to see all the houses. Um, and it's important to have these 3D renditions of how it looks, the floor plans, the blueprints, all of that. Also, if you're working in tech as well, or, you know, you're working in contracting, you know, having these digital floor plans available, not only digital floor plans, but where all the connections occur, where all the assets are, um, all the access points, <clears throat> all in one area is definitely good to see. All right, guys, so this is pretty cool. So we've got connect with stakeholders, share data, timestamp and encrypt for traceability and authentication on the VeChain blockchain, transact through smart contracts, access real world digital real estate. Secure your building's data, incentivize creation by feeding your digital twin, and protect IP rights. So, definitely an interesting, um, interesting project here, and I uh, can't wait to see more. Let's see. Little bit more information magma is a building enhancement tool designed for you to optimize property or operations by linking your model to real world input a magnified building is a minted avatar of your property which fuses data and stakeholders alike in a collaborative digital environment and then they say uh, a digital twin is a carbon copy of your physical building but a virtual building model the model is der derived from your typical cad or bim and its component properties. Magma goes a step farther in offering the ability to upload additional information unrelated to the BIM infrastructure. For a more complete picture of your property, this increases the valuation of your model. So there is Magma in a nutshell. And we'll look at more of this during uh, the future episodes, I'm sure. Thank you to Eisenreich for breaking this. And let's go ahead and wrap things up here, guys. Finally, VeChain was highlighted in a recent publication, Designing Data Spaces here. Shout out to um, these guys here, an ecosystem approach to competitive advantage. Love seeing VeChain being cited in these papers. VeChain Thor was developed as a public blockchain to simplify supply chain management. Originally, it was developed to determine whether a real product is fake or not, so that the fraud and counterfeiting can be eliminated. In the meantime, the blockchain was also used by a large company for supply chain traceability. Then it goes on to talk about what VeChain is, the two-token model, all that. Definitely is good to see VeChain continuing to be referenced in papers. And we're going to start to see that more and more as time goes on. All right, guys, 624 days left to the next Bitcoin block having, and the markets are down. Um... As I expected they would be, I, you know, interest rates going up, I just thought that, you know, it'd be kind of tough for crypto to really break through. I think we're in it for a, for a long 
painful period, but you know, that just gives me more time to accumulate my favorite cryptos. Gives me more time to get more V Chain, more Cardano, and more time to buy more Coinbase stock. So, um, we're just going to continue to work, and uh, I think our our fortunes will change once the Ethereum merge occurs. If the Ethereum merge occurs in a couple of months, they said that, you know, it will be ready in a couple of months. I think it's going to be ready more like, you know, next year or so. I could be wrong. I don't have any inner insider information, but that's just what I, that's just what I expect. Okay. So. I'm going to stop blabbing now, guys. I love you all so much. Don't let your muse be dreams. I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. i just like to say thank you so much to our wonderful Patreon subscribers. Guys, please consider clicking the link down below to join the Patreon crew. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you to Maryland for Crypto, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, Farooz Nin, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVT.si, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson II, Kragen, all flare llc again guys thank you so much consider clicking the link below and have an amazing day